Okay, we are here with Cal State San Bernardino head coach Kim Chernis to her left, Sasha Dominique to her right, Lilia Toomalatai, and to the far right, uh, tournament MVP Alexis Cardoza. First coach, just an opening statement about, about tonight's tough five setter to win the tournament title. Yeah, it was really a great match. I mean, it was really fun to watch, to be honest with you. It was super high octane. I mean, there were some big swings being taken and some really dynamic defensive plays. I mean, that was the epitome of what a championship match should be. Um, with both teams playing with all their heart, um, I thought that LA um, was really good. They're, they had some inconsistencies. I know their coach was probably, you know, hoping they could even that out because when they're good, they're very, very tough to stop. Um, and they had some players really step up. So congrats to them on a great tournament. Um, but uh, for us, that was a really good experience for us to have. Um, not just the opportunity to play in a five-set match, because you need some of that experience going into the NC2A tournament, but also uh, to have that um, intensity of offense coming at us, because we're going to be seeing that. There's, it's no, no surprise that LA is going to be in the NC2A tournament, because they have that uh, type of offensive power. So it was really good for us to kind of go head-to-head -head with a team like that, and I'm just so proud of our team because there was a lot of emotional events that happened during this match and um, to be quite honest I checked out for about 10 minutes because I was a little bit rattled about that but um, they really this team they know how to take care of themselves so one of those emotional events Sasha I'd like to just kind of talk about uh, you coming out there and then what happened uh, and what you're feeling right now yeah I mean it's been, I've been really fortunate to be in the athletic program that I'm in with the staff, with my teammates, with my trainer, my uh, strength coach. Um, you know, everyone's just made it really simple for me to keep pushing and um, try to show up for my team if need be. Um, wanted to go out there and just perform the best that I could. Uh, it was a little disappointing for sure, but my team always has my back and they never fail me. So, you know, they were able to pull it out today and every day. <laughs> After Sasha went down, you guys seemed to kind of, like Kim said, maybe have a little bit of a haze and then just really pulled it out. So talk about what you guys were feeling out there and seeing out there after that. I think seeing her go down was really emotional for all of us because, like, we've had players in the past go down like that, and it's just sad seeing someone who worked so hard and also her last, like, season to go down like that. But... I think after seeing that, we were all kind of like shocked and like sad and stuff. But then after, we were like more fired up to play for her and to play better as a team. And Alexis, talk about how you guys did play better after that event, and then really just the final two sets, just kind of taking it home. Yeah, um, I think that we just kind of looked each other in the eyes and we're like, we can do this. That's like the bottom line. So um, just leaning more on each other and um, trusting each other. And this was your first five-setter of the season. Really, your first four-setter of the season. Or, no, no had you've had a couple of those, but not too many. So uh, what were your emotions out there? And how, since you haven't experienced it this year, how were you able to just kind of pull it through? Um, it was nerve-wracking, but really exciting, too, because at this point in the season, everyone's playing with their hearts and, like, going all out. So going to the fifth set, like, really opened our eyes up to see that people can push us to the fifth set and also that – like the past weeks of practice we've been working on fifth set like situations so I mean tonight we really got to show what we've been working on and if I may chime in um we also talked about um during timeouts and during the you know intermission when we change sides when we're playing in games like this you also have to make a choice things you know reactions don't just happen you have to cognitively decide we're going to choose to fight for this we're not going to wait for it to come to us and I really think that the girls and the coaching staff were able to do that and just keep fighting until the very end. Tony, think you think she might be a valuable player to have on the court? Yeah, there's so. something there, I think. <laughs> and <laughs> on the bench, on and the sidelines too. Seriously, I'll take any piece of her I can get <laughs> for as long as I can have her. So back to the championship, you guys have won a few in a row now. What is that like to just be winning these, and then this year, two banners, regular season and tournament? I won't say this because people ask that question a lot. You know, we've had a lot of success. We're so fortunate. I mean, I have just 
blessings coming out the wazoo. But each year, it's its own separate journey because this is its own separate team with its own identity. Right? Last year was a little different makeup, a little different team, a little different identity. So every year it's its own thing and its own special thing. So this, the story behind the banners for this year are completely different than any other year. And so they're really unique and really special. So it's, it's really a cool, cool thing. And we love bringing this um, positive you know, vibe to the campus too and to our athletic department. Our soccer team won today, so you know, it's we love to be able to have as many teams be successful on campus as possible and you know, if we can add to that, that's great. Part of the story is winning it at home. Talk a little bit about having that opportunity to host the tournament and win in front of your crowd. Yeah, I think it was really fortunate that we were able to host at home and then obviously the, like we've been home for a few weekends in a row, which was really great too. Um, but just playing in front of a home crowd, it, crowd is just unlike anything else because you know we have our friends and our family there to support us. So it's really I'm really thankful for that experience. Well, looking ahead, speaking of playing at home, number one team in the country, won the conference championship here. More likely than not, you're going to host the regionals uh, in two weeks. Talk about looking ahead, how you prepare for uh, more elite teams coming in, and your goals entering that uh, tournament. Well, tonight was perfect for that, right? I mean, it's uh, it's a matter of getting back in the gym and continuing to rough out some of those spots because there are definitely a few. There are some things that the LA exposed some things tonight that we need to be better at and we need to to um, be more prepared for. Um, and so, there's really no other way that you can prepare for it. It's you know, you put on your catcher mitt and you're going to catch a you know, million mile an hour fastball. It's basically the teams are coming at you like that and us coming at them like that. So it's going to be um, a really great experience for us to be here at home. If we get that opportunity, will be fantastic because we have really a special group of fans, not just our friends and family, but that we have a, a core group in the community that have been supporting us for many years now. And they're really passionate and really um they understand the team, they know the girls, they understand the tradition, so that's that's a really fun thing. Uh, Alexis, I know you guys didn't go quite as far as you wanted to last year, so you're right back in the same spot entering the tournament. Talk about your goals and motivation. Um, each year we kind of sit down as a team and lay out what we want to do, and so we have our eyes set on the prize, and I think if we work together and, you know, focus on our side of the net, I think we can get all right, thanks, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.